four tips on how to be noticed. Did you see me? Yeah, we all saw you, man. Hi guys, my name is Lena Semenek, I'm a psychologist and this is my YouTube channel Psychology of Happiness. Welcome! Welcome! Welcome, welcome! Here I teach people just like you about self-esteem, self-love, relationship, money and I share my professional knowledge and my personal stories with you. So subscribe to my channel right now and this way you won't miss any of my future videos. Sounds intriguing but I'm always a sucker for a good murder yarn. Today I will teach you four simple things that you can do and say and explain how to say it in order to be noticed. These tips will work in any situation. If you are in a bar with friends, if you are at work or if you are selling your services and want to be noticed by your potential clients. Sounds great. Sounds ideal, really. Four tips on how to be noticed. Tip number one is motion. Motions create emotions. When you are talking to a person, move your arms, create space under your arms here. You got to move your body parts <laughs> without moving any of them. Just move your arms side to side, up and down, forward and back. The motions create emotions around you and motions create energy around you. The motions create vibes that people will notice. So for example, if you are at the bar and you're standing still, then probably you won't be noticed. But if you are moving, dancing, talking, using big gestures, you will be noticed. I said we was gonna have fun, so let's get up, let's dance, let's do a shot, let's do something, anything. If you are selling a product, add some movement body to your presentation. Move your arms, move your head, uh, move your body, and actually be in tune with your body. Hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine. Create this um, energy, a magnetic energy that will draw people towards you. And people will pay attention to you. Of course, do not jump like a crazy person, do not over exaggerate it. But if you want to be noticed, ex exaggerate your regular body movements just a little bit. You just have to move. Move your body. Tip number two how to be noticed is to be a positive judge. The last line is not, not guilty. guilty. What did I say? What do I mean by that? Find at least one good quality in person whom you are talking to and make sure to focus on it. Uh, do not flatter the person. If you flatter, people will catch it eventually and it will sound fake. So try to use short phrases and the shorter is the better. It can be something as excellent job, great choice, nice idea, great job. Good, I like that about you. But try to be more specific if possible. Uh, you can say great haircut, nice outfit, or I love your sense of humor. I love your tie, that color. I love your dress. Thank you. It's French. This way you create a positive connection between you and another person. The other person will be drawn to you because you recognize something to admire in them. And who does not want to be surrounded by people that think that you are great? You are a great friend, a great co-worker, a great neighbor, or a great partner. I think you are amazing. Let's move on. Tip number three. <laughs> Tip number three is to speak loud and clear. Express your emotions with your voice. Use your intonation, raise your voice or lower it down. Make it faster or slower, make it stronger or softer. Play with your voice, play with your tempo. Uh, use your voice to incite feelings and create new emotions. Emotions, emotions, emotions. People are always attracted by positive or negative emotions. Emotions are what every person is attracted to, whether it be in person, on TV, in movies, or in stories. Movies without drama are boring. Just think about it. So don't be afraid to show your feelings. Oh, Dick, that was incredible. Thank you. Emotions are what makes us to connect to each other. And finally, tip number four is to speak without words. 
Your body language, it's, it's, it's just emotional, everything you do, thank you. <laughs> now I will talk about interactions with people who are not in your close circle. So for example, you are walking on the street and there is a person on the other side of the road. When that person is looking at you, just nod your head, uh, smile or just wave your hand. If you are driving and someone lets you go in front, again, nod your head and say with your lips. This way you create a habit of talking comfortably to any person and feel confident interacting with people that you don't know. I like this girl. I like this girl, Mitch. <laughs> As a result, your self-esteem will go up, your self-confidence will go up, and people will notice you and will be drawn to you. So create a habit of uh, communicating with unfamiliar people. This habit will bring lots of benefits in different scenarios in your life. For example, when you start a new job where you don't know anyone, you already have a habit of talking to strangers using your gestures and your body language. So you can easily create invisible connection or communication with new coworkers by nodding your head, by waving your hand, or simply by smiling. So practice making connections with people who are not only in your close circle, but with everyone around you. Uh, co-workers, neighbors, bank tailors, uh, cashiers in stores, and everyone else. Okay, let's summarize uh, four tips on how to be noticed. Put it together, let's keep it one. <laughs> Number one, motions create emotions. Move your arms, your legs, your head, your shoulders, just be dynamic. You know, be a living person, not just a standing statue. Show me a little bit of your mood. Number two, be a positive judge. Give people compliments. Tell them what they do best. Tell them what you like in them. Do not flatter, do not be fake, but be honest. I love your accent. Number three, use your voice and your intonation to express your emotions and feelings. Wow. Yeah. And number four, create a connection with everyone around you. Use your gestures, your eye contact, your head, your hands, your lips. In a short period of time, not right away, you will need to practice a little bit, but after practicing, people will notice you and will be drawn to you. That's, that's true, that's great advice, thank you. Let me know in the comments, which tip do you like the most? I would like to hear from you. Please share your opinion, share your feedback with me. It's very important uh, to me and I would really appreciate it. Mm. And before finishing this video, I would like to offer you a gift. I will send you seven free self-development webinars, seven free guided meditations, and seven free healing exercises that you can do at home when it is convenient to you. Click the link below the video and I will send them to you right away. And as usual, if this video was helpful, please like, subscribe and share it with your friends and family. It really helps to uh, promote my YouTube channel and it motivates me to create free videos for you. So thank you very much for watching. Wishing you all the best. Check the links in the video description and see you soon in my next video. Bye.